In today's video, I want to share with you seven celebrities that have pectus excavatum that you may or may not know about and kind of break down their cases and kind of what I think I would do if I were them to make it look better or maybe they've already done that. So first things first, we're going to start with my hero. Uh, because I'm a surfer and Kelly Slater, okay? When I realized Kelly Slater had pectus, I was pretty stoked to know he's in the pectus club with me. His, um, his pectus in this video clip that I'm showing you now. Um, now, obviously, he has a mild case of pectus, but he still definitely has pectus, okay? And uh, no offense to Kelly, he's 50 years of age right now, so, you know, his body isn't in its best shape. Um, I'm sure when he looked younger, he had a better body that made his pectus look less noticeable. And you can see that when he was younger and fitter, his pectus was less noticeable than it is now because his posture looks a little worse, he's got a little bit higher body fat, not much muscle definition compared to before. For 50, he looks great. Uh, but you know, if he decided, obviously he's caring about surfing, but if he decided to care more about his physique, which he doesn't have to, and he, it, doesn't affect him, I don't think, because his case isn't that bad. But if he did decide, he could make it look a lot better. Getting abs, getting muscle definition around the pecs, you know. And you can still do that at 50, you know. I've, I've coached heaps of people who are 50, 40, 60 even, um, and they've had an amazing transformation. So, uh, you know, age isn't going to stop you. It's just going to make it a little bit harder. Okay, now we're going to go to Parker Cannon. Now, Parker Cannon is a musician, a singer, and his pectus is severe. And the coolest thing about Parker Cannon and his pectus is he rocks it. I see all these images of him performing on stage without a top with like the most as severe of pectus as it can really get. And that is cool. That is really cool that he's able to rock it. Because as I talk about with you guys, when I say fix pectus, it's not miraculously making your chest flat. It's building a body in which you're proud of and you're confident in. Because pectus for a lot of us is, isn't really affecting our heart and lung function to the point where it's like, really a health warning. For most of us, it's just a psychological condition and we don't like the way that we look. And so once we're confident with the way we look, then it's fixed. And from him, it seems that he is, if he can perform on stage. So that's awesome that he has that kind of mindset. Um, now, that being said, I'm sure if he built muscle and developed his core because he's kind of got that like lack of core strength, which is kind of making like the pop belly appearance. And he just built some muscle and fixed his posture a little bit because you can see the inclination of the rounding, it would look better. Obviously, training doesn't miraculously make your chest flat. So for him, you know, even with training, it's all, all he's obviously going to tell you have pectus, but he's confident in his body as is. So I'm sure if he just improved his posture, built a little bit of muscle around his chest, developed his core so he had abs. Um, he would make it look a lot better. Now, if he were to sign up to a client with me, I would firstly say, make sure you, you know you get it checked out because you know if you have any alarming health conditions, then maybe surgery is a route for you, uh, in which case you still wanna be doing exercise and stretching in the program pre or post to help. Um, you know, help with posture and help with uh, building muscle and just having a good physique. Um, but then on top of that, I'd also recommend he look into vacuum bell therapy. There's a pectus healing vacuum bell, which I recommend to my clients, um, you know, who have more severe cases of pectus, just to really help bring out the sternum. And when you do that in conjunction with building muscle and fixing posture, you know, it really has a pronounced impact. Like, you know, Jerome's transformation with the vacuum bell and, and um, check out this image. Now, obviously the vacuum bell is uh, something that needs to be done extended use. You can get a direct acute uh, result, but then it will go back down. So with extended use, you can make a permanent permanent change. So anyway, that is uh, Parker Cannon and what I think he could do. Next, we have Sylvester Stallone. I know he has pectus, very mild though, uh, just on the borderline of pectus. But you know, I have people reach out to me who have pectus this mild and still want to change it. So you know, it can still affect people. So don't be out there if you have a deeper pectus commenting below saying that's not pectus because it is. Um, but it's just not very deep, okay? And yes, people can still be insecure about their bodies even with a more mild pectus. Um, but Sylvester Stallone obviously looks jacked. Because he's jacked, it's even less noticeable. If he wasn't as jacked, it would be more noticeable. Now, now we're going to go to Cody Miller. Now, he is a professional swimmer. So a lot of time exposed taking off his shirt. I'm not sure how he feels about his pectus, whether he, I, I have read an article that he does feel a bit insecure about it, but obviously he rocks it on the global stage before sporting events. Obviously he's not gonna wear a rash shirt for a swimming event, um, so he has to, but he rocks it confidently. And his pectus is definitely on the more severe side too. And so similar things that I said with Parker Cannon would be uh, applicable to Cody Miller. 
Obviously though, he is a professional athlete, so he has built muscle. He has done swimming, which is something I recommend, and a lot of swimming, which is something I recommend to my clients, all my clients. It's a great thing for pectus um, because you're working your aerobic capacity, which is typically impaired to some degree. You're working your back muscles, which is important for posture. And that being said, you're just doing some cardio. So if you have like body fat and kind of that pot belly accentuation, it's gonna help with just burning calories and getting leaner. Um, and also it's gonna help you build some muscle too. Um, you know, it's resistance as you're pulling through the water, you're gonna develop those upper body muscles. So, you know, there is a benefit to swimming, but obviously he's focusing solely on swimming without adding resistance training. So if he, or a lot of resistance training, if he built more muscle, he'd look better and his pectus would look better. So he could do that and he could also implement vacuum bell therapy as well which I think would be very beneficial for him. Now we have Brendan Fraser. You might know him from George of the Jungle. That's where I know him and that's where you can see his body. Uh, obviously, he's a lot older now and I can't really find any images of his body now, but I'm sure his pectus looks a lot worse than it does in these images because at this time, his pectus is probably similar severity to mine. His physique is similar to mine. Uh, maybe he could develop it a little bit more, develop his chest a little bit more, but he's done a lot and he has a lean muscular physique, which is one of the key premises for making your pectus look less noticeable. All right, and now we have Joaquin Phoenix. It's hard to pronounce his name, uh, but I know him mostly for being uh, Caesar in Gladiator. Awesome movie, check it out if you haven't. Um, but he has a mild case of pectus and no offense to him, but he hasn't built much muscle. And even when he was younger, when he acted in Gladiator, his pectus is mild and you can still tell it because he hasn't got a good physique. Um, and so he hasn't built muscle to mask it. Um, and if he did, because his pectus is so mild, you wouldn't be able to tell. And then obviously as he's older and he's put on body fat and he's kind of developed fat in his chest, and then he's developed that pot belly, it's made it, it makes it look worse. So for him, obviously now applicable to his older state with the fat, losing fat, getting a lean muscular physique, making his posture look better, you wouldn't tell again because it is so mild, but you can tell right now because of the way his physique is. So he'd really benefit from exercise for his pectus and exercise for his health. Not saying that he's not exercising, but you know he could exercise more to have a leaner, healthier physique and a, and a better body if he wished to. And lastly, we're gonna finish with a female. It's Hayden Panettiere. I, I think that's how you pronounce her last name. Now she has like a very centralized, kind of not very widespread, but centralized pectus. When it comes to a female, obviously my training's not as applicable because my big premise of my training is developing the pecs to help mask it. Um, so, you know, I have a video on females for pectus and I'm working on creating better solutions for them uh, because I know it affects you just as much as it does the guys, um, if you're a female watching this. But, you know, some tips for her, well, you know, there's a few things girls can do. I know breast augmentation is often done with pectus. My girlfriend actually has pectus and, and went that route and it just makes it look a bit less noticeable uh, because obviously it's kind of like building the pecs. You're building, you, you have boobs around it, which make it disguise it. Um, so, and potentially she's done that. My girlfriend thinks she has. Um, I couldn't really tell, um, but she thinks that they're fake. Um, so she's done that already to make it look better. Um, and kind of draw attention away from the indent, as weird and creepy as that may sound. Um, and then uh, on top of that training, you know, pectus is often paired with the flared ribs. So being fit and healthy, which she is, and I think her flared ribs would look worse if she didn't, if she wasn't exercising and training her core like she probably does. I also know um, pectus healing have vacuum bells for females as well. So that's something she could implement if she wanted to. Uh, her pectus is so scented that I, I'm not sure how effective it would be. So I would, uh, you know, look into pectus healing. Uh, if you use the code pectus PT, you'll save some money there um, because they have actually a consultation and a doctor. You know, it's, it's something that should be done with at least a doctor's consultation to make sure you're doing it properly and understand um, and, and the vacuum bell is fitted to you. Um, so yeah, check them out, guys. If you're interested, but she could potentially look into that as well. Uh, but you know, plenty of shots of her in a bikini. So seems like she's confident in her body and rocking it. And she even wears dresses which like open up her chest. So she's rocking it. She doesn't care, which is cool. That's where I want you guys to be. And I want you guys to be confident in your body and rock, rock your pectus, you know, own it, make your physique look better to make it less noticeable and then just be confident in yourselves. Um, you know, these celebrities, I think most of them are confident and that's a really good thing for life. So um, anyway, they're just my tips for what those celebrities could do to make their pectus look less noticeable. And you know, guys, it's important to also note that, you know, 
Practice is super common. It's like one in 300. So you're not alone. There's so many of us out there with, with pectus. So, you know, don't feel like a freak and hopefully seeing, you know, these celebrities and, you know, me talking about it in this community, you realize you're not alone. And, uh, the, and there's things to do to make it better as well. So anyway, guys, that's the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in coaching, the link is in the description. Um, same as for the vacuum belt. And I'll see you guys in the next one.